I challenge you out there who are Zeitgeist uh, acolytes, followers now, to please go look at this and say, how is all these other religions wrong? And, and there's no such thing as religion or spirituality, but then the thing's filled with religious connotations and Illuminati buzzwords and the Illuminati Christ, who they said was the Christ. Jason Burmis, welcome to the airwaves for your comments on this. Well, thanks for having me, Alex. Uh, yeah, I came across out the day after it came out, I uh, downloaded it off the Internet, and I sat down, and I watched it, and I was very impressed with the editing quality in the first hour uh, covering the Federal Reserve Banking Cartel. It only got a few minor things wrong, which uh, G. Edward Griffin goes into in his article. But then when it really transcended into this utopian-type society that is just, uh, you know, short of a, you know, glorified version of Brave New World or 1984... I was very troubled by it. Um, like you said, it's it's unbelievable. I mean, he uses a lot of truth. For instance, those technologies that are in the film, they do exist. But why would our global masters ever give us free access to them, decentralizing their control? There's never really a solution given to that other than stop banking with them and stop joining the military. Listen, here's well, the that- bottom line, Burmas, and, and, and this is the point I forgot to make. I'll make it before I forget and then have you carry on. Continue. That's the issue, is that he kept saying the global government's a bunch of idiots, they're falling apart, they're failing, they're nothing. You know, global government isn't even the issue. We're going to have a good global governance. And then I say, well, that's going to take enforcers and systems. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. You know, it's just going to happen. And I go, but you're repeating all the stuff I've heard before. And he would just sigh and basically say that, you know, that wasn't the case, even though it was all the key marxist leninist you know, New World Order buzzwords, which comes out of this whole theosophic system. It's only one brand of it. And, you know, that was really the key uh, to all of this, is the New World Order says they're setting up this utopia. It's identical. The, the U.N. says they're setting up what he's saying, and he's acting like they've just now invented it, and this engineer they're talking to has just now invented it, when this is the New World Order religion, repackaged as if it's anti uh, New World Order, when there's no discussion about, he's like, you're dealing with all these little problems. And I'm like, no, 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 we're fighting the fight. We're holding back the tide. It was all this disdainful Moses on the mountain, uh, you know, laughing at all the other religions when they are so highly religious. And they'll say, yeah, and they'll say, they're saying they're not even spiritual. They're saying it doesn't exist. It's science religion. But then that's what they're pushing, bringing forward the Christ of the UN official religion of the Theosophic Society. So, uh, I mean, it's just so incredible to have it hanging right out there on the edge, and, and, and we're not even recognizing it when it's when it's the elephant hidden right in the room, uh, Jason Burmis. I mean, the New World Order is 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 claiming they're going to set up with this world socialist state. Uh, what 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 they are again in this film pushing? Go ahead. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, when you hear the words one world, one consciousness, well, that means that everybody's going to speak the same language. We're going to be under the same set of rules. It looks like we're all going to be wearing the same clothes, according to this utopia. I mean, what is this? I mean, is this the humanity that you want to uh, bring your children up in? It certainly isn't what I want, and it is what these globalists want. However, he fails to recognize that when they want to bring this in, well, they want to cut the population down by about 80%. Oh, no, their film talks about how there is overpopulation. Yeah, yeah, it, it does, but again, it doesn't address Look, this is a classic introduction. They come in with all the anti-New World Order movement stuff, but, but which, which had been, you know, basically created, generated the resistance by real Christians at its core. It comes in, assaults them, to get the atheists behind it, and then brings it into religion in the next one, doing a double-think game, saying this isn't religion. Yeah, and one of the things that I don't think you've touched upon enough is the fact that this is very earth-based. I mean, he really talks about which is what the theosophic. There's so many points. The theosophic society says the earth's load in harmony with the earth because the theosophics say we're worshiping the earth spirit. Exactly, it's the same thing. And then you find out, you know, these high-level supposed Christian conservatives are really into the occult and pagan earth worship. And if you watch that first Zeitgeist film, uh, you know, the first part of that film is all about sun worship. Well, again, he fails to tell people that the people at the very, very top are into these type of ceremonies. You know, they're into this paganism, this sun worship. But he does tell us. He does tell us in this clip. Play that first new clip from the day where where the person makes a pyramid with their two hands together, and it shows the sun in it, while this person is in religious ex 
apostasy. So, so again, all, all these religions are wrong, but we have a new one. It, it's not new. Here it is. Morality, but the fact of the matter is joy comes from that bliss of connectedness. That's our God spirit. That's that side of ourselves that really feels it. And you can feel it deep inside. It's this amazing, wonderful feeling. And you know it when you get it. You don't get it from money. You get it from connection. So there you have the, uh, the God spirit in all of us. And then if you say so, I'm going to get him back on and go, what is this about a God spirit? And he'll just say, you're a Christian. You can't even grasp it. It's, 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 uh, it's science. Oh, man, we're in a lot of trouble. Well, I agree with you, Alex. And, uh, you know, thankfully I haven't really seen this at the top of the video charts. Obviously there's a buzz around it. I just hope that a lot of newcomers to the movement don't look at this and take this for what we believe as a movement, because this is really unrealistic socialist garbage that's been pushed, like you said. Well, I don't want to get into years. Exactly. I don't want to get into what happened to 9-11 Truth in New York. But the main people in that, especially a, a Urangia official U.N. UFO cult, and uh, they openly, you know, wanted it was basically tying down the real investigation. And so things split off and we are changed. But everywhere I look, these people are all around us now. They are moving in to take over this movement. Well, yeah, I mean, obviously uh, the mores of the culture have uh, differentiated for the past 20 years and gotten more and more and more extreme, and now people are, you know, willing to believe anything. I mean, look at that Ray Alien cult. I mean, it's unbelievable to me how, you know, masses can be swayed into these just New Age garbage-type religions. And by, no the way, substance. Th by the way, there's now the Z-Force, uh, you know, 40,000 people in a week, he said, and, and and the Z-Force is going to save us and, and, and re-educate us. Oh, 40,000 people to re-educate us. Well, good luck, guys, because I don't think I need re-education. I don't think that we're just going to solve all of these, quote-unquote, social issues with humanity by offering solutions. But did you hear him prison. on the show yesterday? You said you were listening yeah. at home painting your house. He's on there, and I go, well, what happens if I'm in the future utopia system and, and, and I don't want to go along? He goes, well, you'll be reconditioned. You'll be re-educated. Yeah, and he kept saying, well, you'll be given a choice. I mean, what's this choice? What, are they going to put us on Australia, on some kind of island, to fend for ourselves? I mean, what, what are these choices we're going to be given? Are we going to be given the uh, lobotomized chip instead of the uh, regular chip that most of humanity can handle? I mean, what are the choices we're going to get? I, I, it just, I was in awe while I watched By the way, they talk about this technocracy of remote control cars and the government taking control or, or the system that, that, that isn't a system. And that's exactly what the New World Order is building, this total control grid. Yeah, it was it was a lot like Minority Report without the ads for advertisements. Cause no, no, they're just telling us it's going to be great. It's going to be wonderful, just like the Soviet Union. Do we have G. Edward Griffin? I bet we got time zones screwed up with him. Um, C. of Trey gave you the right number. Cause G. Edward Griffin wrote a review that's up on Infowars.com. Look, it doesn't matter. The American people, the people of the world, love being suckers. And they've woken up to one level of the paradigm. And then, and then certainly that they've woken up to organized religion being another level of the paradigm, and the disgusting phony Christians and the phony Muslims and all that stuff. And I'm not saying all the Muslims or all the Christians. I mean, you know, the establishment stuff. And so they're saying, oh, we 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 don't want religion, but then it's the Theosophic Society with the World UN Christ in it. I mean, Burmas, you can't make stuff up like this. Yeah, and then he also tries to push the idea that, you know, evil doesn't exist, but abhorrent behavior does. Well, to me, abhorrent behavior is being down at a uh, restaurant, you know, at a nice dinner with people and starting to pick your feet in front of people. That's abhorrent behavior. Look, look, but abhorrent you... behavior. Burmas, this is what it is. Look, yeah. this is a psychological game where they say you aren't allowed to comment because you're part of a false religion. You're not allowed to comment because you're closed-minded. There's no such thing as evil. Uh, we will just, you know, re-educate everyone. Everyone's good. We'll just, you know, again, it's not allowing you to make choices. That's what the New World Order does. They're all about telling parents, don't give your children your values. Let them be themselves. Meanwhile, the state and the media and the, and the schools are totally brainwashing them. They don't want you to put your imprint on them. Because they want to put the new. Well, we have to decide then. Do we do we like the new New World Order system, which is really the old tyranny system, or do we like the more Renaissance system that we were under? Well, I couldn't agree with you more, Alex. And uh, I see that pushed more and more today among kids, youth, not only in yeah, the Yeah, they're just saying we're not allowed to even have an opinion. 
It's just, we're the intellectuals, there's no North American Union, we're the intellectuals, there are WMDs, you're not allowed to comment, you know, and it's the same thing. We're the intellectuals, uh, you know, you, you're not even, you're, you're just a bunch of religious kooks. Every, I mean, I would sit there and say to him, you know, science shows that at least half of what we do is genetic, and, and I would bring up that certain breeds of, you know, cow are more, more aggressive. And he just said, nope, that's not true. And, I, and he said, the science shows it. I said, what science? I mean, I've, I've worked in this, I, I, and I'm giving him science, not Christianity. And he goes, no, that's your Christian view. I mean, it's just an excuse. Hey, I think 2 plus 2 equals 4. That's just your Christian view. Uh, well, no, I'm not speaking as a Christian. I'm, 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 I'm saying, you know, why do you have the, 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 the Christ leader of the U.N. Uh, with this global reincarnation Christ consciousness? That's all good in the God spirit, but then... If I talk about genetic engineering or something, it doesn't exist because I'm not allowed to comment because I'm not a risen, raised person like you. Yeah, and he doesn't ever re really talk about the double-edged sword of technology and how these things can be used to restrict, control, and enslave us and are being used to do so.